Hi guys, how are you doing? It's me, Sunny, and I'm here with a May Favorites. And I'm really excited to do my May Favorites because that means it's June, which is my birthday month. So, well, not birthday. Birthday month. So I'm like uber excited about that. Woo! -hoo! Okay, so let's go ahead and jump to these favorites because, as I always say, I never want these videos to be super long. Um, so the first thing up is my MAC Studio Fix. And it is the powder foundation. And I'm not quite at my summer shade yet, but this is still my winter shade. This is a um, C6 by MAC. So what I found um, works is I'll put my, like, I guess you would say I blend, but my medium deep mineralized skin finish and then I'll kind of put this like on the inner parts of my face and that seems to work out best for me. So this is a new favorite, loving that one. Also with face, I've been falling back in love with my MAC Pink Swoon Blush. And that's this one. And then also as well, um, pull back out my blush palette. But this one right here, Flower Power or Floor Power, however you want to say it. Try to get it. Yeah, you can tell I like pink blushes. <laughs> yeah, but um, that's been a favorite. And I think that's it for the blushes. Um, the Maybelline New York foundation is still one of my favorites. I use it every day I wear liquid foundation. So if I'm not wearing powder, I'm wearing this. Nothing else. Moving on to eyes. Yeah, eyes is going to be really quick. Moving on to eyes. I'm still loving the NYC Cold Brow um, brow and Eyeliner Pencil. I'm trying to get it so y'all can read it. There we go. Um, it was $0.97. Cents. Love it. If you're looking for an eyebrow pencil that's cheap, give it a shot. Now, this one is a new favorite. Um, I was scared to try it, but it's the Maybelline Great Lash in Royal Blue. And I freaking love this. And I get compliments every time I wear it. And it's literally a blue mascara. I thought it wasn't going to show up. Showed up beautifully. Like this showed up better than the MAC blue mascara that I bought. I think it was with the Wonder Woman collection. And it was cheaper. Go figure. So I really want to try another one. Like I want to try the teal. But I am loving this royal blue. And is that it for my eyes? Oh, one more thing for my eyes. Um, the Black Track Fluid Line. And it's Black Track. But it's just the basic gel liner. I've been loving my gel liner this month. Haven't really been using the L'Oreal Linear Intense. Been using gel. Oh, I forgot one blush. Um, Gingerly. <laughs> Oops, sorry guys. Gingerly, also by MAC. And it is my, looks like nothing in the pan, but it's like amazing on your cheeks so it's a brownie pink blush lips since i've been you know on this whole eyeliner kick my lips have been pretty basic <laughs> so um the revlon lip butter in peach parfait and i've shown this before as well oh my gosh guys like this is all i have left Holy crap, and I didn't even realize it. Like, can you see the, You see that? Holy crap. This is amazing to me. Like, oh, wow. Never knew that. Okay. So, yeah, this definitely gets a lot of use. And then an oldie but goodie, a MAC lip glass, and it's the clear lip glass. I'm sure you've all seen that. Um, the Viva Glam Gaga. This is the original. So, it's that really pretty pink. And women of color, please do not be scared of these these lip colors. Like, you can rock it. You just need to know how. Um, so <laughs> I know that sounds really bad. But I used to be one that would shy away from, like, these kind of colors. I'm like, they'll make me look dead. But, um, like, let's see. I don't look dead. See? Like, give it a shot. Give it a shot. And even if you don't absolutely love it, the money goes to a great cause. So, But it's a really pretty pink. It's a wearable pink. I love it. The next one would be a Revlon lipstick. And it's in Carnation. 
and I'm loving this too. Like you can see, this is a really, really pretty color. And it's actually surprisingly moisturizing. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, already at five minutes. Okay. The last two products, I do believe. Yep, I think these are the last two. One is the NARS lip gloss, lip gloss, lip gloss in Stolen Kisses. And this is one of the NARS duos, but I've just been wearing the Stolen Kisses. Really pretty nudie gloss. Really, really pretty. So whenever I run out of this, I will buy the full size. And then this is a Maybelline lip gloss, and I'm sorry, I don't know the color. But, yeah, because when you open it, the plastic takes off everything. Yeah, it takes off everything. So I don't know what color this is, but it's a pretty plum. Like, I thought it was going to be dark, but it's not as dark as you may think it is. Like, it's the ideal kind of burgundy-ish. And this is with a couple of swipes. See, it's not as harsh as you think it might be. And I love the smell of it. it. Smells like fruit or something. But those are all of my favorites. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm probably going to do a small haul video next. So don't be alarmed if you see me wearing the exact same thing. And yeah. So have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.